talent development and leadership development are very important elements of an enterprise being successful. Um, it's important that as folks are being brought along through their career, that they have good, clear career path opportunities. They understand what the parameters for success are and that they um, can get feedback dynamically as they're progressing through their career. The more progressive companies are really leaning into talent development and leadership development. And so enterprises that have structure and culture built around those things can be very, very highly effective. And it creates a lot of goodwill with the employee and staff population in the sense that they see the company actively investing in their success and their future. And then finally, in the concept of human capital, not so much from the corporate perspective, but from the individual perspective is that I think it's important that, especially for students as they're migrating their way into the workforce, they have to understand that they need to become their own advocates. Um, and that while you want to enter an enterprise that provides you with good opportunities and have some of these, um, these um, structures in place to help you be successful, um, it is important that you have confidence to promote yourself, um, to try and stretch yourself, do things that might be outside your comfort zone, um, and to take on when the opportunities are presented, stretch assignments that are really going to allow you to shine and do something maybe unique or different from what you do typically on a day-to-day -day or a week-to-week -week basis. I will say that across the span of my career, I, real, I realized I probably became more impactful when I realized I wasn't waiting for somebody to give me the next opportunity, when I was actually stepping up and saying, hey, I'd like to try this. And so I really encourage folks, especially early in their career, to take that approach, be their own advocate. Um, one, of the, one of the skill sets, you know, everyone comes out of school or they go through training and they develop a certain set of core competencies. Many times they are skills that are technical in nature uh, it's a body of knowledge that you master and you become somewhat comfortable with. Um, but the one of the intangibles and one of the accelerators I really think is to develop good communication skills, to be able to both speak and present and write um, and bring your thoughts together in a cohesive way and to be able to deliver those to whatever audiences you may have the opportunity to present to. In the broader context of human ca capital, it's kind of the it's the hidden asset of good organizations. Um, and as you're embarking upon a career, you want to keep in mind that that is really something to be looked for and to try and leverage and exploit as you're trying to grow your, your career.